So uh, today I'm going to be talking about some work that I did with my colleagues in Gauss University in Sweden. And we want to go into the following questions. Do CIS administrators prefer common line interfaces? Don't they? And to answer this question, we went through like a exploratory study using firewall interfaces. If you don't have much time, if like you want to go to the toilet, and you want to just a summary of the, what's the answer for this question, the answer is no. They don't prefer common line interfaces, even though there's a lot of uh, like evidence or a lot of prejudice that tells us that uh, what they really like is a common line interface. And why do you think that? Because you have this, as we seen yesterday, uh, when people have this mental model or like this idea what a system administrator is, is someone sitting in front of a black screen just typing things nonstop. And that's actually what you want to look at, or what you want to investigate. So before we start, I would like to tell you how I actually came with this, uh, with this study, with like this paper. Uh, what we knew before, what, was this, what is the state of the art, is what we have seen from the last past 10 years, that uh, all the papers that have around like system administrators and the work that they did, or did on security experts, they actually tell us that uh, they prefer common line interfaces. And that's the way that have been working, that's the way that they work, and that's what they want. Even like there are some, uh, one of the main papers that actually then studied like 100 season administrators in the past, like 10 years ago, they got some quite uh, stark, quite strong evidence that actually they don't like it. People even wrote like, we don't want no more GUIs, stop that. This is like, a, we like common line interface, like the type. Uh, but from what we see or what you hear when you talk, when you look at like firewall, what you have around now on firewalls, every major vendor has a graphical user interface. Uh, some of them is even difficult to, think, to go to find it where the CLI is. Uh, when you talk to, uh, we did a user study on interface and found there were like quite many. None of them was tested, so there's a lot of like, things that are still missing, but there was a trend that we want to investigate. And to do that, we actually decided to ask ourselves like this, put on our two research questions in front of us. The first one was, what firewall interfaces do system administrators use? And actually, what firewall interface do they prefer? Because that could be a difference. They could be using something, but they prefer something else. Could be that, oh, I like CLI, but I can only have GUIs, or like GUIs, I don't have GUIs. So that's what we want to investigate. And to investigate that, this is what we did, this is the out, basically the outline of this presentation. We did an online survey, and we did an online survey that actually collected like the answers of 300 system administrators, going to see actually how we actually did that. Uh, then we did some data analysis, both quantitative and qualitative. And in the end, after we like, collect the results, analyze that, uh, look at what we have, we came out with some design recommendations. So how actually we can move forward uh, to make the work on system administrators, like our special friends, much better, much easier, or what they're looking for, what they're expecting from us. Let's start uh, with the online survey. So the online survey, as we probably know from the presentation that have seen, is pretty difficult to find or to capture like system administrators to answer something, especially the ones that are security experts. They usually don't like to answer those. They think it's a waste of time. So try to keep out to get something that'd be really uh, easy and fast for them to answer. So come with like some uh, questionnaire that's based on skip logic. So depending on how actually they go into the answer to the previous question, they, they decide where they go into the questionnaire. So did something that would be like quite short, only between 11 and 14 questions. So they have at most 14 questions to answer, four of them open-ended. And you basically ask them how much time they work with firewalls per day, like, or per week, which interface they mainly used, and which interface actually they prefer to, they prefer to use, which tasks were easier with, with each interface. So if they use one, is that the, they like to use, or is there something else that's like better to use for this type of specific tasks? and what are the strengths and limitations of each of those interfaces. And we end up on the second part of the questionnaire, of like four questions on demographics, just to find out how much experience they have and so on. 
in a sense, to keep the questionnaire short, we succeeded because, in a sense, that they took at most, or on average, uh, under three minutes to answer the questionnaire, and the median was a bit, around, or something around two and a half minutes. So it was very short. And uh, the retention rate, or the completion rate that we have was around 59%, so out of like, uh, all everyone that started, like out of 10 that started, around six would complete our questionnaire so, or survey. So that was quite nice. So how actually you recruit people and actually how actually we got like a high number of participants to actually to, to join or like to answer this. First of all, we went looking for system administrators that are volunteers and as for volunteers, they're like, uh, there's no financial compensation, they're getting nothing. But of course, when you want to give a compensation to a, fund, to a system administrator that already probably has a good salary, you probably cannot pay that much. Uh, so they're like extremely hard to recruit. So to find them, we went to like the regular ways to so look in the system administrator forums, email lists, and uh, we got a bit of pickup there. But uh, when we finally managed to post or survey on a very uh, specialized subreddit, the sysadmin subreddit. Uh, we got something like uh, more than 80% of participants over there. So that was where we got our success. Uh, it was, they have their policies, so they usually don't take surveys into their, uh, into their subreddit. But then we had a discussion with them, we earned their trust, and eventually they allow us to uh, post our questions there. And we're not just looking for any system straight, we're looking for administrators that have worked or worked with the uh, firewalls. So there is a, also a specific subset of system administrators. So it was very specialized people with security expertise. Uh, in this subreddit, there are like 360,000 people that subscribe to that or accounts. And uh, on a daily basis, there are like 3,000 people that are online at any time. Uh, so with like these 300 firewall uh, participants, we, we collect the, the data and I'm going to present first like, the demographics that we collect from them. And first of all, the age distribution. So the age distribution actually follows what expect around Reddit users, so they're mostly young. So around 80% uh, of participants were like between 25 and 44 years old. So 44 is still very young. Uh, and gender distribution is like mostly male. But that's also close to what we're seeing on this particular subreddit, where around like 93% or 94% are males. So that's uh, what we got there. The second part of the demographic is how much time they spent working on furrows. And that was quite a surprise that uh, more than 70% spent between one hour and one and four hours, or less than one hour to four hours actually managing firewalls on their daily work. So it means that like, it seems this, or it is not uh, their main activity that they do. So they spend some time around the week, but that's not the majority of the time that they spend. And when I was experienced system administrators, we got a lot of people with like more than 10 years or like, uh, most of them, or more than 75% or 80% of them, have like more than four years of experience working as system administrators. So people that have been working for quite some time. And finally, on the demographics, when asked how good they were like with managing their firewalls or working the firewalls, uh, almost them claim to be at, to be either advanced or experts on using firewalls. A good or the a uh, good size, a sizable number of them say to have intermediate knowledge and just a few actually say that they're just basic knowledge. But then uh, if you look on the main uh, questions that you ask what they prefer, what they use, then uh, this is what we got. So if you look at the uh, interface that they use most, then 70% of them, around 70% of them use like mostly graphical user interfaces on their daily work. So that's what they use and what was uh, quite a surprise for us. Maybe not because like there are so many uh, graphical user interfaces around. But when you ask about what they preferred, then what they prefer actually amounts to 
almost 60% of them actually prefer to use graphical user interface and not CLI, which goes against all the prejudice that you have on what a system integrator looks like or does on their daily life. And the preference for CLI is basically close to half of that. So 30% or three out of them actually prefer to use, still prefer to use CLI instead of graphical user interfaces. So they're like the, let's say the, what we found out of, uh, out of our data that we collected. We also uh, remember that we asked like these four questions, these open-ended questions that uh, we collected all their answers, we code them, and then it come out of like uh, what they think what's good about the CLI, what's bad about CLI, good about graphical user interfaces, and bad about graphical user interfaces. So what the, the numbers that I have under the, the, inside the circles is the number of coding reference that I have for each. So when I asked them what actually was good for uh, regarding CLI, so why use, if you're like a CLI user, why do you think it's good for doing that and what use that for? So most of them actually praise uh, the flexibility and how flexible is a CLI and how efficient it is to use. So for instance, some of them actually said, uh, it has a very high signal to noise ratio and therefore they prefer that than anything else. So since it's like there's no clutter, they can do, they have freedom to do whatever they want. And also one thing that you saw quite, that appeared quite many times is that uh, all the functionality is there. There's nothing that's 100% covers everything that the firewall will do. So that's supported by the kernel or the OS and GUIs actually don't do that. They mask a lot of things that they cannot actually get to use. Uh, so, but what was the bad things about CLI? So, so if CLI has good things, it also has bad things. And what was bad, according to them, is that uh, uh, CLI is maybe scary or overwhelming for a beginner or trained user, so we can understand that. If you have never used like common line interface and like just sit there and have type commands, people usually a bit uh, don't know where to start. So that maybe is bad for like someone that has just started to work like in firewalls. And then uh, oh, they also tell us that they are terrible to generate visual information. So that's comprehensible for non-experts. So if one of the concerns that you want to show some reporting to like some management or want to show like some, to someone that has, doesn't have the security expertise, those reports cannot be produced in enough sense that like be easy to show. People don't like to see just text in front of them. So, but then uh, what actually was the good things about CLI? So then uh, so, so if you don't, if there are those bad things about, uh, uh, and good things about CLI, what's good about GUIS? Uh, most of them actually praise the usability aspect of like graphical user interfaces. So we have like a lot of the coding reference on this, five, almost 600 coding reference on, GUIS, on strands of GUIS. And what they really like, are, I select two of the codes that they have. It's uh, the information is displayed on a more organized method. So when compared to CLIs, so that uh, is really nice for them to use. And also one thing that uh, is quite, appear quite many times is the, oops, where's that? Oh, right, I lost my cursor. Uh, da, da, da. that they actually don't spend uh, much time using firewalls. So if they spend up to four hours a week using firewalls, they don't actually remember the commands that they have to use. It's something that they, they, if they have to spend much time remembering, it's not efficient for their daily use. So they prefer to have something that actually click around and they don't have to remember anything. And what actually was bad about the graphical user interfaces is that the missing features or settings, so they have like this, that they need to use CLI, so this is some, they need to do something that's very specialized, and the graphical user interface don't have like the, the buttons for that, then they have to go back to the CLI or they don't know how to do that using a uh, firewall that only has like a graphical interface or a uh, graphical interface uh, for them to use. And also like the documentation of which they thought it was really bad or like it cannot be done. So actually documenting GUIs was something that they thought it was especially hard to do or like to prepare or to build something because they have like to take screenshots after screenshots after screenshots 
And that's something that they, they thought the documentation was really difficult to prepare and difficult to use. Uh, that said, so what to collect? We actually could uh, identify this shift tower graphical user interface. So, so season illustrators are like a moving forward. They don't like, they're, st they're starting to like stop using command line interface. There are still some or uh, that, uh, especially the people like that are using command line interface for many years, they're still very resilient. So they like to use it. They usually get a bit upset with still do that with like a graphical user interface. We saw that from like our, uh, the input for the users. But we clearly see the shift to our graphical user interface. And uh, we actually try to like see what are be possible explanations for that. We, the, some of them are supported by our data and some are inconclusive. So we, what the first one, uh, our interface is getting better. And from what we hear or what we read is that yes, people said that the interface is getting better. They're not like they were like 10 years ago. So firewall companies are putting more effort there. They're like more projects around this to make them better. So our data actually supports that, or qualitative data. Uh, another hypothesis that actually was raised by, uh, we found in the literature is that uh, the system administrators are actually getting less competent. And because they're less competent, they don't like to use graphical user interface, uh, they don't like to use common line interface anymore. But that's not what our data suggests or supports. So in this sense, it's inconclusive because what we see, uh, most of the people that answer a question are very, they have quite a high expertise and they still, there is no, we could not like make any uh, correlation between expertise and the preference for GUIs or CLIs. Uh, the third hypothesis would be that season straighters are doing much more than used to do. And therefore, they have less time to just spend their time using learning common lines, you know, the commands for the specific firewall or specific tool. And that's what actually this or data supports. So what you see is that people like spending less and less more or less time, like managing firewalls or managing security tools. And therefore, they need like things that are more usable, that they don't need to uh, remember that often. They don't have to remember like commands all the time. Uh, and what you could come out of that, so like when you like collect all our data, look at the, all the, what you have and the, like the direction that things are going, uh, come out like uh, some design recommendations for like new files, for, for new firewall interfaces. And then, uh, of course, what, or of course, what you want to do is something that, uh, what the ideal firewall interface now that according to the suggestions that you have, according to the, what you read and the main interpretation out or the analysis, is that uh, what actually they expect is something that's like, we have a, like easy transition between the graphical user interface and command line interface. So if they want to use commands, they can like fall back. If they want to uh, create new macros or to like uh, for their commands that they can create a button for doing that, that's what they would like to have that. So like graphical user interfaces that actually can be customized for their needs. And they would like, like better GUIs, of course. Who doesn't, right? So lighter to run, not bloated. That's a common complaint about graphical user interfaces that they're super heavy. They cannot run anywhere. Uh, they would like to have like a simple setup and installation, something that they can, they don't spend much time trying to figure out how to install a graphical interface for a firewall because that's something that uh, some of them complain. And of course, I already mentioned that, that they would like to have some scripting integrated into those. So they will have some customization properties. And on the CLI side, to make it also like more accessible for like first time users or people that don't spend much time using firewalls, they like to have like better verification of commands like syntactical verification. So is this command correct or not? And also more uh, examples integrate on the command line interface. So they can have like, a, when they look for the help of a minus age, they can get examples of what this line would do and what would be the effect. Because one thing that is actually some of them mentioned is that if you want to really destroy your firewall configuration, the fast way is to do that with a CLI because you just type one command wrong, press enter, and then like everything's gone. So that's something that they're also like afraid of. So that's some, something that they're like, they want to be careful about. 
And then with those design recommendations, actually I conclude my talk. So that will be, be it. Thank you for your attention. Hi, thank you very much for that. Um, Gus Andrews, independent researcher and writer. Um, I, you alluded to the fact that you may have analyzed um, preferences uh, in relation to expertise. I'm wondering if you can talk a little bit more about that. And then also, um, I wonder if this is generational too, right? Does, do people prefer the interfaces they grew up with? Did you analyze by age? Uh, we didn't analyze by age, but I have like, a, you got, you hit my, <laughs> my backup slide. Uh, we, we analyzed by proficiency. So that will look at that. Uh, what you have here is that if it looks like there's some, uh, there's a bit like more people that like have an expert uh, type of knowledge actually prefer to have, to, still prefer to have CLI. But is, what you analyze statistically this data is not significant enough. So you cannot like actually uh, come out to the conclusion that this is really the case. It looks like, but we, we, cannot, uh, we cannot prove that. Not to, uh, by age, uh, like uh, okay. uh, we didn't look at the age factor, but then uh, I can look at we can look back, back at the data and look at that. We did then also look at like nationality, but uh, like our survey was translated in four different languages, and then uh, English, Russian, Portuguese, and Swedish, and uh, we got answers from most of our in, in English, of course, but also got to, like answers from all of those. So, okay. all right. So I'm sorry, but this is going to be the final question. Uh, hi, yeah, fascinating research, Joe Hallett, um, Bristol Cybersecurity Group. So did you look at whether these sysadmins were Windows-based or Linux-based at all? Because I'd kind of expect a Windows sysadmin to be more familiar and more happy using a GUI than I would a Linux one where you've only had IP tables for years. Uh, we didn't look about specific, we didn't ask about specific tools because that's something that uh, uh, when you're like this, designing the, the survey, when you want to talk to the Reddit scenes and straighters, they didn't want any vendor specific questions or any OS specific questions because they're really careful about not have, first, not having surveys. They usually never have surveys on this subreddit. And uh, because they don't want advertisement of companies or like any, any sort of like product placement. So we have to show their survey first. So we have the discussion then, they have to approve our survey. So it took some time. That's why we could try to, to see when we got the pickup of answers that most of answers came from the subreddit. But then there were like also these limitations that the type of questions we could answer or, or could, yeah, could sure. uh, Thank you. pose. Thanks. <laughs>